Why pursue a cloud-based strategy? Well, hardware is expensive. When you go with a cloud provider, you pay much less, sometimes nothing, upfront, and you gain significant peace of mind. Advantages of migrating to the cloud include affordability. Most providers don't charge upfront. You'll likely pay as you go. Professional maintenance, compatibility, and upgrades are taken care of for you. And new software deployments can happen much more quickly. Security. Huge cloud providers benefit from economies of scale especially in security. Data centers are able to offer the best security beyond what's financially possible for most smaller companies. So you know your data will be safe. And scalability. The entire cloud model is based on the principle of only paying for what you need and being able to scale quickly. This all sounds great, but there are disadvantages to consider as well, including higher long-term costs. You'll save a lot upfront, but hosting your software on the cloud often increases your total cost of ownership in the long run. Loss of control. Cloud providers are very flexible, but it's possible a very complex deployment won't be compatible with a cloud configuration. Vendor lock-in. It can be very difficult to switch providers or take your software off the cloud should you decide to do so. Industry-specific regulations. Some cloud-based services might not be compliant with industry-specific regulations like HIPAA. Physical location you might need to be physically located in a particular region for legal or security reasons. The US government won't store data, for example, in Russia. And air gapping. If you have very high security needs, you need to make sure the system is air gapped. That is, it isn't connected to any external networks. Now, if the company has made the decision to switch from on-premise to cloud-based hosting, there are three strategies that you want to keep in mind. Strategy one, re-hosting, also known as lift and shift. Here, you can simply shift data from on-premise infrastructure to a cloud-based one. This is good for large-scale migrations. Pros include this being a simple and fast process. There's a lot of automation tools that are available to help you along this process. Cons include that legacy software might not be compatible with this method. Strategy two, replatforming. Lift, tinker, and then shift. This is re-hosting with some minor tweaks to capture the full cloud benefits. A pro for this is that you'll be able to capture all the benefits of cloud migration with minimal effort, but cons include that you have to have very careful management, especially as you're replatforming, because you can easily turn this into a very time and resource intensive refactoring. And strategy three, refactoring, fully re-architecting applications to suit the cloud. This is often only used as a last resort or as a strategic choice. For example, when choosing to switch from a monolithic to a microservice architecture. And pros being that a successful refactoring can lead to increased speed, scalability, and performance. The cons include this being very risky. This is easily the most difficult, expensive, and time-consuming strategy. This can be hugely disruptive to operations if it's mismanaged. So how does this help you with your interviews? If you're interviewing with a major cloud provider, it's helpful to understand their product offering and how they compare to others out there. Many companies like to ask system design questions that reflect a real business need. So I recommend spending time learning the landscape of cloud services. If you're interviewing at a company that hasn't yet made the switch to cloud, the question of on-premise versus cloud might be a good topic to dive into to showcase your big picture thinking. If you do go down this path, don't forget to circle back to high level trade-offs around cost and engineering effort.